so far. Uh, you can see I've keep the markings on there, but I've finished the bores and uh, drilled the tapped 256 holes, four on each end of each bore, there are 16 in all, to, uh, to hold it on the bottom. Uh, here again, you can see I've marked the top so I don't get confused. I've marked the side which is slightly thicker, uh, which has the uh, valve gear, and I've also already drilled and tapped the exhaust port. Uh, that's tapped for 40, and it runs all the way through to the, just about here in the middle. It doesn't go all the way through, but it makes a common exhaust port for both the cylinders. You can also see, uh, I think you can see, that uh, I've lapped the, yeah, the bores and they are looking good. And I'm now good. going to start machining the depressions, uh, the, th the hole which will connect to the exhaust port and uh, then finally drill the holes, well, I should have put it this way, from each depression, two little holes at each end, two here, two here, two here, two there, and the opposite end, uh, for the steam ways from these uh, depressions which will sit under the actual valve plate. So that's the next step, and so far it looks as though my two cylinders in one block is going to work we're looking very well. at the cylinder block which is uh, in the small vise in the mill uh, ready to have the depressions and holes and tapped holes drilled on the face that is going to hold the uh, the actual um, slide valve plate and this is underneath and it has, has the proper uh, res recesses I've started the holes. The two main holes in the top are very simple. Uh, they are drilled to connect with this tapped hole which runs all the way through to the end and which is the exhaust. And uh, you've got to be very careful because if I look here you see if you drill those holes too deep you're going to go into the cylinders and by golly you don't want to put an exhaust port in the middle of the cylinders that's going to mess the whole thing up uh, the other thing as you drill and tap these little holes which hold the actual uh, uh, steam box on sandwiching the uh, valve plate uh, you've got to be careful not to go too deep with these because you don't want them to interfere with these tapped holes which hold either on the well, on the bottom here <coughs> which is the bottom they hold the crosshead guides and on the top they hold the cylinder caps so everything's very tight and you have to be very careful uh, not to uh, interfere one with another and then you'll see scribed are those little squares which in fact they're intersections mark the centers of the one <coughs> sixteenth of an inch end drill that I will use to carve out the uh, those little recesses. Uh, after that the only thing left is uh, these two oblique holes from the recesses into the ends of the cylinders from the end, it's difficult with my great big finger there, uh, they're drilled from the end of the recess through to the edge inside of the cylinder and they convey the steam uh, from the, the very important touching off this surface here so that I can make the first depression or recess uh, using a 3 sixty-fourths end mill which is not very big at all it's very brittle so you've got to be very careful 
but because it has to be very precisely placed, I need to have my measurements absolutely precise. So here I'm going to find the edge and as I'm sure you know, uh, that's the first sign and I'll get the close to zero, take it out again, come in, I need to find that edge little by little. There it is. And that's, that's pretty close now. I bring it up and two turns which is 0.1 which is half the diameter of this means that now we are centered right over the edge. Now I need to bring it in 0.168 so 0.1 0.168 and we'll lock it there. Now that's the right distance in. Now we have to get the right distance in from this surface. So we bring it down again, start the whole thing over again, little by little. There we go. Check that again. There we're coming close. As soon as it breaks, that's it. That was pretty close, okay. Now, two turns will bring us right over the edge and now we have to bring that in point two two. Point two is one, two, three. Four is point two, one, two, two. Okay. There we are. We are directly centered over the center of the first corner. So we'll take that out and put our tiny, tiny little end mill in and well according to my marks I think we're just about right. But now we're about to start the milling and I have to bring that cutter down 0 0.207. Well, the cutter is already down uh, deep uh, to, to uh, point, uh, 0.07 inches and I now have to bring it Point 0.207. So I'm going to go this way very carefully. You'll see it. I'll unlock here. 